It can be hard to miss the big white restaurant with an ice cream cone on the front as you're driving down 6th Street in Wausau. That's the 6th Street filling station, and it actually doesn't serve ice cream. It's one of the many things left behind from the building's past that continues to live on today in the auto-themed restaurant. In this week's Dine and Dish, I spoke with the current person running it, as well as those who've owned and worked there in its past eras, to catch a glimpse of how it's evolved to what it is now. Nostalgic, unique. Words to describe the 6th Street filling station now. The building's rich history makes it that way. Its many different forms has sentimental meaning for many. From an old service station and sporting goods shop to a gas station, a salon, a tanning studio, an insurance company, and most recently, restaurant with a couple different owners. There have been a lot of different types of businesses in the building. All sorts of stories. Customers that come in and bring us car parts and hubcaps. We even had a few pictures through the years, uh, some little keepsake mementos. I love hearing our customers come in and talk about their memories here and the nostalgia factor. You know, the garage doors that you can see were actual garage doors at one time. That's how Ole Johnson remembers it. He worked in the building in the 1950s when his uncle owned it. It was a sporting goods store and a gas station. We just had two gas pumps in the front. Real ones, unlike the clever silverware storage ones used now. It had a garage with four stalls, too wide, too deep. And they also had live bait, and they had all sorts of firearms and fishing equipment. For old time's sake, he recently paid a visit to the restaurant. Took my wife there once, and I said, that's where my workbench used to be. Greg Zaromsky is the man who originally converted it to a restaurant. We just thought that the area needed something uh, lighter, easier. It was going to be more of an ice cream hamburger shop. Hence the ice cream cone decor still on the outside. He saw its potential from early on. I moved to Wausau in 1980 and lived right next door to the building. Jamie Craning runs it now. She and her brother took it over in 2017, serving up their specialties with the smell of their fresh baked bread in the air. We make our holidays from scratch every day. So we're separating eggs, blending them with fresh melted butter, and it goes on a lot of our signature dishes and it really just elevates that dish. A popular topping choice among the regulars. I call them my grandpa table. They've officially adopted me as their like granddaughter. I've seen them every, yeah, every Tuesday, Friday for the last five years that I've been here. Jamie says working in hospitality has been her lifelong dream. Something I've always loved to do, I've always worked in a restaurant my entire life. And 6th Street Filling Station gave the green light at just the right time. It was a big year for me. I turned 30, I got married and our dad passed away um, pretty quickly. This opportunity just popped up really, really quickly and it was a sign that my brother and I took from our dad that we're gonna be all right. Reminders of dad? Yeah. Scattered throughout the restaurant. It's, it's great, my dad lives on through us um, every day here. So maybe you don't have a deep memory tied to the ever evolving, nearly century old shop, but the next time you drive by and giggle at the sign, you'll know why. It's one of those ways that my dad kind of carries through in the things that I do every day. Reporting in Wausau, Hannah Borkert, News Channel 7.